Clyde as well. Ekta, thank you for the details over there. Uh, let's move to another stock, and this one's quite interesting. Vedanta has fallen 8% in today's trading action. Lots of momentum on the downside. What's plaguing it? Nigel's here, and this one's turning out to be quite the corporate pot boiler, Nigel. Uh, the history, the past and the present. But tell us, what's today's trigger? Why is the Vedanta falling? Well, if you go by history, they'll wriggle out of it. You know, that's, uh, <laughs> that's uh, the way the Vedanta group uh, has moved over the last few years. The problem is, the fear is that Vedanta Resources, not Vedanta Limited, but the parent entity, Vedanta Resources, if you're tracking the bond deals out there, they have moved up to around 35 to around 40% plus as well. So the fear is there could be a default at the promoter level, which is more than $7 billion. And they have some payments that are coming up in the next couple of years. So because of that, the listed entity, that's Vedanta Limited, is under some pressure. What's the relation? Well, let's pull up uh, the promoter holding in both the listed entities. That's Vedanta and Hindustan Singh. Now, in both these two entities, you know, if you look at it, out of the total promoter holding, bulk of it is pledged. For Vedanta Limited, close to around 100% has been uh, pledged. For Hindustan Singh, close to around 88%. I think at some point of time, that data point should come up for you. Yes, that's uh, up for you on the screen. And, you know, everything was going well for them. Unfortunately, what happened for the group was they had proposed this transaction when Hindustan Singh will go ahead and buy Vedanta's international zinc assets for around $3 billion odd. But as we have been covering here on CNBC TV, team, the government of India has gone ahead and opposed this particular transaction. So because of that, that's put a spanner in their works. Because otherwise, you know, if Vedanta Limited sold that international zinc uh, business asset to Hindustan Zinc, they would get money. And in turn, they would uh, pay out a big dividend, which the promoter entity would get some money and they could, uh, you know, take care of their debt as well. Now that has gone into a question mark. So how do they come up with the money? That's the question the street is working with. Remember, in Hindustan Zinc, that's the cash cow for them. Vedanta Limited has close to 65% stake and the government of India has around 30% stake. So can they come up with a counter-proposal? How do they get some cash into their books, pay out a dividend in Vedanta Limited and wriggle out of this? For the time being, the street fears that the Vedanta promoter entity, that's Vedanta Resources, could default on the debt. And that's why the bond deals have moved up. And that's reflected in the Vedanta Limited stock price here on the exchanges. Okay, Nigel, got that. Thanks very much. Saving grace, I guess, just to add, is that uh, this debt is coming up for repayment, not immediately in the next three, four months, but the bulk of it, the, the big ones, are coming up for repayment in 2024. So some more breathing room for them to figure out uh, a way around this. With that, let's take a very quick break. We'll come up on the other side and discuss everything that's buzzing in the commodity space. Manisha Gupta.